neighbors when we were near the Nichols campus said this was the area where some homes got quite a bit of water inside and the whole area actually where I'm standing right now on West 8th was completely flooded with water. We do want to uh, check in now with the homeowner here, Miss Christina. Miss Christina, I mean, you were here throughout the duration of Hurricane uh, Francine. Go ahead and tell me, walk me through the timeline of events that happened yesterday. Um, like once the wind and the rain started picking up, like we've seen some flooding, but like once the eye made landfall, the water came up so quick. Like there was nothing we could do. My husband was out trying to clean the drains to see if it would help. And it just, it just kept coming up and up and it ended up coming in the house. And I know you said for Hurricane Ida, you all just had to replace the roof, but this was the first time at your home in five years that you saw the water come up this high, right? Yes, ma'am. We didn't have any water like this for flooding. I mean, we deal with some flooding with the storms because uh, the drainage just doesn't flow right. Even though we've made complaints with the city, they just tell us the pumps are, the trucks are in uh, the shop or something like that, but nothing's really done. And this time it actually got in our house. And I know you have the, you were telling me about the just remodeled your bathroom, you had the yes. sticky towels on your floor. <laughs> Tell me what's that looking like in there? Uh, it's wet. Uh, like I brought you in to kind of mm -hmm. show yeah, you. I mean, yeah. it's dark. I can't really go in yeah. this thing. Um, but like you step on the tiles and like the water's coming through the wood and all. So it's, it's a mess. It's going to be a cleanup for a while. So Miss Christina, I want to let you guys know, get an idea, get a picture of exactly how high the water was. Uh, we're going to get photojournalist Caleb to go ahead and show you. So Miss Christina, walk me down the steps and kind of give me a preview of what exactly exactly uh, we're looking at or what exactly this area looked like last night. Okay, um, like last night, like when you're looking onto the porch, it actually got up onto the top of the porch. We had about two inches high on the porch. Um, and then as we go around, um, like the bird bath that's here, um, it was like right underneath the top of it. It was completely flooded. So you could just barely see that bird bath, right? Yes, ma'am. It was completely covered. Um, and then if when we come around to the side, you could see the water line as you walk mm -hmm. all along the side. Um, like when you stand right here on the side, it's probably about knee deep on this yeah. side where the water like actually stopped to where it made a water line. Um, and then the back of the house, um, I can show you, it's actually got like waist deep. Yeah. I mean, just kind of standing on the side of the house where we are walking right now, looking at it right now, uh, it's about, I would say, to my hip area, and you're shorter than me, so it would be even higher up on you, but you can see how clear and defined that water line is on this home. Christina, I want to tell me what we're looking at right now as we kind of go back towards the This back. is actually, um, this room where you were pointing for your hip, this is actually our son's bedroom that's here. Um, maybe about a half an inch got into his bedroom. This back area, like right past the door, this is our bedroom. And we had about uh, an inch to two inches of water in our bedroom last night. And the shed, um, it had, my husband said about six inches in the shed last night. And that's some pretty expensive equipment y'all have back in there that you think you're going to have to replace talking about that electric water heater back there, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. It was completely covered the bottom panel of the electric heater of the water heater. You guys are still in the dark like thousands of other people here in Lafouche. I mean, how are you feeling dealing with all this having rolled out the storm here at home? What's what's kind of going through your mind right now? It's a lot. I'm just I'm glad we made it. It's not a total loss. Um, I mean, I did live in Slidell for Katrina and lost everything. So this is a lot easier pill to swallow. But when the water was coming up into the house, I did start to freak because of, I mean, going through it before. But we're here. We made it, you know, so it's good. It's just going to be a cleanup. Absolutely. And tell me, I know we were talking a little bit earlier. You mentioned that you all have made several complaints to the city of Thibodeau about the drainage uh, around here on your corner on West 8th. Uh, what do you want them to know, having gone through um, the worst flooding event that you've seen yet at your home? I really would like them to focus on this drainage and solve the problem. Because even with just a really bad downpour rainstorm, we flood. We don't flood to where it got as high as it did and got into the house, but we do flood. We have made several complaints with the city of Thibodeau, like we said, about the drainage. Um, they'll tell you, oh, there's a work order put in, or the pump truck for the drainage is in the shop. We're going to get to it. You're on the list. And in the five years, I've maybe seen them five, six times pumping the drains. And when they're pumping the drains, that's when it's not even raining. And I know you were saying earlier that 
the water your husband was out here kind of in the the waiters in trying to booth, yeah, yeah in the booth yes ma'am <laughs> yes he was out oh, like once the rain kind of stopped like a little bit in his slack yes ma'am he was out on the road by the drainage in hip boots last night <laughs> with the rake trying to clean the drainage off to see if we can get some water to go down to try to get it out of the house yeah well i mean like you said grateful that you know it's always no loss of life it's a headache more than anything yeah. but everybody is safe so yeah that's always the bright side i do want to take you guys kayla you can go ahead uh, to the front let's go back to the street because i want to show you guys where exactly we're talking about where these two drains are now christina uh and mr tim that we were telling you about earlier who was out trying to clean out these drains if you, you're looking at those two sticks kind of sticking out the ground uh mr tony those are where those two uh drains are here in the area he was telling me that they do have actually a lot of drains surrounding their home there's one kind of in the back there's two on the corner there's one across the street and he was saying that there's always uh debris especially after a storm that we've had you see these uh kind of little tree limbs tree sticks kind of sticking out right here all of this was kind of floating around and now on top of these drains here you're looking at them right now so this is where they try to mark it to make sure that they can actually try and clean it out so you can see that's quite a bit of a, a dip and we're still seeing a lot of debris in here so hopefully um, the parish comes out they can get this cleaned up and eventually hopefully work on some uh, clearing out the drains some drainage products we're going to reach out to the city to see what's the latest on that. Uh, but for now, guys, we're gonna keep working around these neighborhoods, seeing what we can see, because we know a lot more people did, unfortunately, have some more water uh, in their homes. So we're gonna send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Leah, thinking of all